Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hall of Famer, director, Marlon Green, hitting you up with a leadership summary on the LeBron James incident and also showing you that I'm the hottest director of photography on the planet. Uh, NASA is highly motivated these days. They want the private sector to come up with these ideas and solve a lot of these technological problems. They want to be in a team now environment. So this is big now. You have to you have to remember now the deep state in the in the in the shadow governments of the world are already traveling the universe and the solar system. They have no intention on sharing its goods with us, but we really don't need them. We can show them that we don't have to waddle in the mud to achieve anything here on Earth. We can do it on our own. And we don't consider the aliens any more superior than we are because they need us. We really don't need them and we can do fine on our own. And so capping that up, NASA wants the private sector and the public sector to do a better job at coming up with these technological advances to help space exploration. And this is where hemp, industrial hemp, could come in very helpful, you know, because industrial hemp, we can make fuels, we can make all types of things from biofuels, and we can use more hydrogen technology. It's really the defense industry that does not want the global community with anything. They want to mine the solar system. They want to talk to extraterrestrials. They want to make deals, but they want to exploit us doing it. Those days are over. There's too much media coverage on O.J. Simpson, Tiger Woods, and there's not enough dialogue about racism in America and the LeBron James incident. Where's Charles Barkley at now? Where's L. Sharpton at? Where's T.D. Jakes and all these guys that's on television all the time? Where are they now? Where does the Black Congressional Caucus stand on this? Let me tell you where they don't. They don't stand on anything. And so that's the better reason why you should follow us. And these guys should be making their exit plans. Okay, we African Americans in Africa should do more cooperating with China because Asia and China has a good reputation for keeping up and maintaining ancient and cultural sites. And it seems to me almost every ancient site has a wealth of knowledge to be understood in addition to the artifacts that may have been helped crafted by other races or other extraterrestrial beings or aliens. The USA space industry is destroying the planet in Antarctica, Antarctica and the polar region. They made all of these bases and they're destabilizing the planet's ice sheet that's underneath the polar ice caps. There's there's huge caverns under the North Pole and the South Pole and a lot of beings travel in and out there where we have been building there for decades and now the ice is melting and destabilizing which is all the more reason why we should stick with China, Asia, and Europe with the defense industry because they're taking our cultural sites and communicating with extraterrestrials, using our technology for defense purposes and would even attack us with our own technology. And this is how they got ahead. They didn't get ahead because they were smarter. They, get a, they got ahead because they attacked the unsuspecting and the weak. That's how they got ahead. There's way too much media coverage on Tiger Woods 
and other things like that and not enough media coverage on missing vehicles from Iraq, the black budget, how big is it, the NSA, we need to fight the further snooping surveillance programs and President Obama has did African Americans in the country a great discredit by the ways that he handled things in my opinion. He does not support reparations we do not support him he can go around charading on the television like he has such mass appeal and he doesn't and any african-american that blindly follow him are just that blind we can do better invest in us we're more creative we're better suited for the future and today's challenges than our leaders are and just because you have money that can be a downfall these days because it's all about helping people, not hoarding all the marbles. And China and Russia and Italy are great partners to do business with in space economy, cultural and other aspects in the global community.